Gone are the days where we had to put up with a photo the way it was originally taken. Now you can make your images exactly the way you imagined them. Hi, I'm Tammy, a brand photographer here at Canva. I'm super excited to run you through Canva's new photo editor. Look, it was great before, but now it's magic. From subtle adjustments to AI enhancements, this update means you can do it all in Canva and still have access to social scheduling, brand controls, templates, and our massive element library. The best thing is anyone can use it. You don't need editing experience at all. In no time, you'll be making edits that would usually require complex and time-consuming manual tools. Stick around and I'll take you through the basics of adjustments, filters, and background remover before blowing your mind with Magic Eraser and Magic Edit. One suggestion before we get started. Subscribe to Canva's YouTube channel. There are some huge things being launched and this is the best place to learn how to use them for your needs. In the Tips from the Team playlist, we upload two tutorials every week, taught to you by the people actually working at Canva, like me. Oh, there's one of my other videos. I really liked that one because I got to play with my US trip photos. Okay, let's begin with a basic photo you've taken and look at what adjustments can do. Using simple slider tools, these are built to really help you take control of your photo's look and feel. Let's jump in. Begin on the home page. Go to Projects. Now you can drag your image straight from your desktop into this window. Once it uploads, you can find it in the Uploads. Simple. Or you can grab it here in Images. Click on the image and it will open in a pop-out that has all the photo editing tools ready to go. Now the first thing you'll notice is the three headings at the top. Effects, Adjust and Crop. Let's begin with Adjust. Here you can customise the temperature, brightness, contrast, even saturation, sharpness, and so much more. Or, if you're strapped for time, just hit the auto adjust to sharpen, pump up the colours, balance out the lighting in one easy tap. One of the new features I love is you can choose to edit the whole image, the foreground, or just the background, independently. Watch this. Here I'm going to select the foreground where the subject is. Now when I use the sliders, you'll see it's only adjusting the foreground. Likewise, if I select background, yep, you guessed it, now the sliders only affect the background. You can get some really unique and interesting outcomes by using these in tandem. At any time, if you need to revert to the original, just hit this button. And if you're happy with it, head up here and hit save. The best way to learn is to play around with it. The next one I want to show you is the crop menu. Here you can easily crop to a range of standard aspect ratios or find your own fit with freeform. Can't decide? Auto crop will automatically crop your image down to the most aesthetically pleasing composition. You can also rotate with this slider or input a precise degree. If you're after a quick fix, then hit auto rotate to instantly correct a crooked image. I love that it's so simple to work on different aspects of your image editing. The final menu we haven't looked at yet is the effects and it's incredibly powerful. Background Remover has been around for a while now, but it still blows my mind and I'm constantly finding new ways to use it. Wow, look at that, so quick. You can see how with just one click, any product, headshot or logo can stand out and shine. Blur is great for making a background that's free from distraction. Autofocus will add depth to your image instantly. It adjusts your photo's focal point so you can blur out backgrounds, bringing all the attention to your subject. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, how are we feeling? I know I'm speeding through this and missing lots of stuff. Please, if there's something you want more information on, just drop it in the comments. I know I haven't talked much about filters, if you've used social media, you've probably added a filter or two in your time. Duotone, it's all the rage in design circles. Two colours, lots of potential. I figure most of you have tried that out by now. Something you might not have tried yet though is Magic Eraser. This is really cool. 
Say there's something in your photo that you wish wasn't there, like this. Well, with Magic Eraser, you no longer have to be annoyed by it. Look at that, gone like it was never there. Let's try another. Just brush over the area and your photo bomber is magically removed, so your subject can be front and center. Isn't it great? Maybe you can pull out those old photos and give them a new lease of life. This is also great for creating advertising where you need some extra space for a headline or body copy, or in presentations, social media posts, well, just about anything really. Okay, are you ready to go one step further? Ever wanted to add or replace something in your image, but never had the time or the skills for complex editing software? Check this out. This time, when you brush over an area in your image, type in what you want to add or replace. Hmm, what should I add? Hmm, how about this? Look at that, it's almost too good to be true. Let's try another image. It's crazy. You really have to try it yourself to believe it. This is gonna be so useful for changing photos without even having to reshoot them. Don't like the color of the hair? Change it. Photos looking a little bland? Add or change whatever you like to make it perfect. Your boss will never believe how quickly you can turn around changes. Oh, that's what I need to show you. How to use it in a design and share it with others. Once you've saved, you'll be able to find your edited image in the Uploads tab whenever you're in another document. So for instance, I can just open this project, go to Uploads, grab my image and drag it in. It's just so intuitive. And did you know, if you already have a photo in a design, all of the features I just went through are available right from the design as well. Just select the photo and hit here to see the photo editor. Now to share with my boss, just go to the share menu. I can add their email in here, or I can just send them a view only link like this. I'll send this to them and this is what they'll see when they click on the link. They can leave reactions and even share it with other people to show how brilliant you are. Okay, I need to stop talking and give you some time to go and try it out yourself. Use it on your desktop, or if you're on the go, your mobile device. All the functionality is exactly the same. Right there, right in Canva, ready to use. No complex and time-consuming software needed. Just easy to use tools that help you create your perfect photo. Try it out and let me know how you go in the comments. Oh, one final important question. Did you find this video helpful? I'm assuming the answer is yes. So check out the playlist full of top tips so you can become a Canva master. Here are some recent faves. We release new videos weekly and I'd hate for you to miss out. So like and subscribe to our channel before you head off. Bye.